Hello everybody. I recently found this picture of the rotor part of a DC motor and I thought this is an ideal model to show the interaction between an empty object and a normal modifier because this concept is quite different to what you are used to in Modo. Okay. So let's go to Blender. I go to uh, the front view or the side view. I try to model along the X axis usually because most of the defaults are uh, along the X axis. So I add a circle and align it to the view and make it 48 edges. Then I tap to edit mode and I press E, right click to activate and scale it in a little. Then Shift D to duplicate this selection and scale it in to about here. Then E again, right click and scale it in to here. Okay, now we can uh, this way shift D and grab it along X, shift D X and bring it to here and I make this my own selection so it's not interfering with the rest of the modeling. So I select go to uh, polygon mode and I need I want to make eight spokes so I need six on the inner ring, so I can mark this one and this one, then X, delete faces, and I need four up here, so select this one and this one, and X, delete faces. Now we can select this, press L, X, delete, L, X, delete faces. Okay, now I select these two edges in here, sorry, in edge mode, and then extrude along Z up to here and select these four and right click and bridge edge loops. That was one too many. Right click, bridge edge loops. Okay. <laughs> Now I uh, select everything and use the spin tool, but the new spin tool does not work the way I would like. That's why I use the old one. So you can press F3 to search it, or if you have it on the tab key as I do. So I search spin, I need eight steps, duplicates and 360 degrees and you see the old spin tools tool realizes that I want to do it around the X axis. The new one doesn't. It means I want to do it around the Z. So I think it's, it's a bug or an inconvenience. Anyway, it's no problem. I select everything, then my quick favorites and merge by distance and I have removed 475 vertices. Now I can this way extrude this along X. Uh, let's say how far, maybe 0.15. Then I rotate this selection around X, 
rotate around x by that's way too much let's say four degrees okay now i want to have an empty and for that i go to object mode shift a and add an empty with a circle as a selection now i can select this go to uh, the modifiers tab and add an uh, array modifier and click object offset and select the empty as the object and here you see because we aligned our initial circle to uh, the view this is why our rotation is off so i have to go to object apply rotation now it's good okay now i want to have um, maybe 16 16 instances and now I can select my empty and you see now we got additional capabilities now which we can combine with uh, with uh, the modifier and we rotate around X by four degrees the same as we did and now you see we have our rotor almost done now i select this here go back to edit mode and we can select now um, in edge mode select sharp edges control b and bring this out to about here with two segments and a profile of one because when you remember um, the picture I showed at the beginning these were all separate elements so to uh, object mode shade smooth and this looks pretty good now we need to make the middle axis okay now i tap to edit mode a to select everything f to fill e to extrude and extrude this out on the other side doesn't really matter how far this is then i shift alt click this edge here and control b and bevel this a little and we are finished now let me go back to object mode we don't need this shift a shift a and add a plane scale it out by 22 and grab on z and bring it down to about here okay now i enable the light go to render view make the light an area light with some size and select this part here and this part and give it the material a new one um, metallic and some roughness and then uh, that 
give this a new material, make it blue, like so, make it metallic also, and some roughness so we get some reflection. And this has not taken it. So, um, material not just this one. Maybe a bit darker and metallic and also some roughness, like so. Okay, now we can select the light, Shift D, duplicate it and use this yellow dot to show where it should point at. Let's see. That's not so bad. Let's find a view where we can see all this beauty. And I want the cycles renderer and maybe a thousand and twenty four samples. The size I make um, sixty six percent and then press F twelve and render it. And here it is, the rotor part of a DC engine without, of course, the wiring. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Take care and see you some other time. Bye bye.